people often ask if we get bored, but to be honest, it's never the same. People aboard are different. The wildlife is different. I dance with different boats out here. Judy Bixler and her husband Tom have been the owners, as well as at the helm, of Talbot County's historic Oxford Bellevue Ferry since 2002. We've done everything from uh, pre-weddings to re-weddings to uh, memorial services. Um, we also have had opportunity when we had the uh, dolphins coming up the river. And uh, I counted, in my mind, well over 100 one time. On the ferry this day, making the trip across the Tredavon River, bicyclist Lisa Sofer from Shrewsbury, Pennsylvania, on the last leg of the Eastern Shore Classic Bike Ride. We start in St. Michael's, and then we ride out St. Michael's Road, make a right on the Eastern Bypass, out Oxford Road, and then we go through the gorgeous town of Oxford and hop on the ferry, and then that will take us over to Bellevue, and then we go from Bellevue to St. Michael's, back to our car and in the process we enjoy all the little towns on the eastern shore. Also on board, Hartford County residents Carl and Sandy Peters celebrating a birthday and a wedding anniversary. Sandy says a ride on the historic ferry was a great way to wrap up their trip to the shore. I just found out it was the oldest ferry in the United States and that the people depended on it over the years in the beginning to carry their carts and and merchandise from port to port. So I said to my husband, I would like to do this on the way home. Every now and then there are travelers on board who leave a lasting impression, like the time former Vice President Dick Cheney and Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld hitched a ride. Because we had so much Secret Service and everybody else, we had to leave Secretary Rumsfeld on the dock. <laughs> Come back and get him. <laughs> Catching the ferry these days, mostly visitors to the area, but it's a 10 minute ride on the oldest privately owned ferry in the country with a history that goes back to 1683. The ferry doesn't change hands very often. Uh, our predecessors had it for 27 years. The gentleman before that had it for like 37 or 38 years. Um, so it doesn't, people get attached to it and stay attached to it. <laughs> But change is coming again. The Bixlers are now looking for someone to take over, but not just anyone. It's bittersweet, um, but I think we need to find the right person to take over the ferry. And we knew that's gonna take some time, so we wanna find that person that's gonna carry on the legacy the way we have. Tom says they wanna make sure the ferry's future is secured, but also that the past is not forgotten. When we were approved to take over the franchising, from the county, um, one of the then uh, county uh, commissioners wagged his finger and said, remember now, this is the people's ferry. You just get to be the caretaker of it. And don't forget, this is the crown jewel of Talbot County. As I have always said since day one, the ferry's not gonna stop on my watch. It has to keep going. On the Tread Avon, Sue Copen for State Circle.